Hello there, I'm Play By Numbers. The other day I got to plat with Diana, and since I so rarely see anyone playing her and she's getting a small update soon, I thought it might be worth doing a quick video on some of her combos and more advanced mechanics. She is definitely no ribbon, but she's got some cool little things going for her that are definitely worth learning. So let's start with the basics. If you hit a target with your Q, it reveals them for a few seconds. If you then use your R on them, your R cooldown is reset. If you didn't already know this, to be honest I can't really blame you given her play rate. On to the QR. Now, after hearing this, you need to know that you don't actually have to use your Q and wait for it to hit before you use your R. In fact, you can throw your Q out and then dash to them. As long as your dash and the Q hit at about the same time, you will still get the reset. The final thing worth mentioning as a basic point is that when you are a target, you'll automatically auto attack them straight afterwards. This is not an auto attack reset, but it's still useful to know that you don't need to click on the target. Onto the sort of medium difficulty things. You can actually use any of your basic abilities whilst using your R's dash. Your RQ will get to you later. Your RE isn't really that useful on its own, but the RW is absolutely key to your burst. It's also useful for wave clear, as the RW will apply the W damage to everything you pass through. You can actually combine the QR and the RW, as mentioned before, to make what is fundamentally Diana's burst combo. You can of course make it more complicated and get more damage. The most obvious way of doing this is to prepare the third stack of your passive before going in with your R. That way you can instantly add that to your burst. An important thing that can be useful to know is the free R combo. You can actually wait once your Q has initially hit the first target until the Moonlight debuff is just about to wear off, then after the target, by which point, assuming you have enough cooldown reduction on your Q, your Q will be up and ready for you to reset again. So you can Q, wait, R, QR, R. That way you're getting three R's out and potentially a couple of auto attacks as well. The E flash is honestly, I think, a very underused mechanic on Diana. If you cast your E and then flash whilst you're doing the animation, the vacuum will actually happen at the point where you flash too. The Q flash is a combo that I actually don't use very often at all on Diana. I really love the sort of ability flash combos, but Diana's Q shape means it's really unreliable to use your Q flash and your flash is so valuable on Diana that it's just not really worth wasting it. It's also worth noting that your W doesn't have a cast time and there is no W flash trick. On to the more advanced stuff. You may be wondering, can I R flash? Well, no, not really. If you hit R on a target and then flash mid the dash, you just completely cancel the damage. However, there is a way you can sort of do an R flash. Now this is something that I actually think is an unused mechanic on lots of champions. I call it the ASDF combos or a skill shot dash flash combos. With Diana this involves throwing your Q, using your R and then immediately flashing. You'll actually use your Q and R from the position you flash to. This is actually quite useful on a lot of champions but it's really important on Diana because of the next combo, which I'm going to call the Fast Burst Combo, or WSDF if you just like letters. The Fast Burst Combo is about the fastest combo really you can do on Diana, especially if you're coming from a bush. It's basically the SDF, but using your W beforehand. So the combo basically is hit W, and then just do the SDF. The REF, you can actually use your E flash, uh, as I mentioned earlier, in combination with your R and your RE. Now in some very unlucky games, you may be the primary initiator for your team, in which case you can use the initiation combo. The initiation combo is basically just the REF but with a W or Q thrown in before just for a bit more damage, the reset set and obviously defense from your shield. This combo is very rarely used. But if Diana is becoming a bit more of a bruiser with the upcoming changes, it might be useful. The RQ. Now, really, this is more than advanced. I wasn't going to make a whole section for it, but this is 
possibly the hardest combo you can actually do in League. And if your name isn't S Diana 2 and you don't have the gift in life of an intrinsic sense of Diana's exact max ult range, then really don't even bother trying to learn this or, or do it at all in the game. The trick to it is to use your R at exactly the max R range and then Q immediately after. I've also found that I can only do it when walking into the limit of the R range, but honestly it's so unreliable that unless you're stupidly good and practice this constantly, I just don't think it's worth it. Now just some quick interesting things that aren't really combos and aren't really going to help you much, but they're, they're cool and worth knowing. You can actually use Tiamat during your R and the Tiamat will go off exactly where you land, which could be interesting if Tiamat was actually viable at all on Diana. You have the E reveal, your E technically gives vision wherever you're using it, so you can use it to see technically over walls and scout. You can actually also drag enemies over really thin walls with your E. It's very finicky and I really don't think it's worth trying, but you know, occasionally. A useful pointer on Diana is that your R will actually put you behind the target if you're close enough. The distance where this changes over is actually your E range. If you could E the target, when you R them you'll be behind them. If you couldn't, when you R them you'll be in front. If you don't play Diana, here's two quick cookie gutter builds for mid. There's Thunderlords with standard AP rune page, and taking teleport you go Rod of Ages, Nash's Tooth, Merc Treads, Rabadons, Void Staff and Zonyas. There's also the Korean build where you go Storm Raider Surge with attack speed reds, you take Ignite and you usually go Protobelt into Lich Bane or Ludens, Short Boots, Rabadon's Death Cap, Void Staff and Zonya's Hourglass. You start Doran's Ring on both. If you want to be jungling Diana, I suggest building a small funeral pyre in remembrance for the spirit of the Spectral Wraith, we hardly knew thee. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this guide both informative and hopefully entertaining, and potentially it's even inspired you to play some Diana. I hope you have a lovely day.